Hello everyone. In this demo, I've created an AI interviewer that assesses, engages, and evaluates with precision. Now let's quickly jump into the demo, and afterwards we will look at the code structure. Hey, hello. Hello, Ankit. How are you doing today? Are you ready to start the interview? Yes, I am ready. Let's start the interview process. Great. Let's begin with some background questions. Can you tell me a little about your experience in software engineering and any particular areas of expertise or projects you've worked on? Yeah, sure. So basically, I do have uh, two years of experience within backend and uh, frontend development in Node.js and React.js. That sounds great. Could you share a specific project you've worked on using these technologies and what your role was in that project? This is cool, isn't it? Let's quickly go over the architecture first. For audio and video calls, I use the video SDK built on WebRTC. For the outgoing stream of the participant and the incoming stream from the agent, I established a pipeline with speech-to-text, followed by LLM, and then TTS services. For STT services, I utilize the Nova 2 model provided by DeepGram. For LLM services, I employed the GPT-4 model, which is offered by OpenAI. And for TTS, I used the multilingual V2 model provided by Elon Labs. I have a couple of questions for you. Here are a couple of questions answered. How do we consume the participant's stream in real time? To consume the participant's stream in real time, we can use the video sticker server as our SDK. The second question is, how do I ingest 11 Labs output into the video SDK meeting? To ingest Elon Labs output into the video SDK meeting, we can utilize the custom audio track feature provided by the video SDK. You can use Pinecone, Qdrant, or ChromaDB as vector store databases. You would use reg over STT and between the STT and LLM pipeline. That's it for the architecture overview. Let's quickly go through our code and the prerequisites for the code. Now let's understand the code part. First, we will clone this GitHub repository by going to the URL then change the directory and copy the environment file. In step two, we will require some dependencies, including OpenAI, DeepGram, Eleven Labs, and Video SDK, which are core to our pipeline functionalities. Additionally, more modules are required, including a Syncio, NumPy, and Pythons.env. You can install Python dependencies using any Python version with pip install for common dependencies. In some cases, you might also need to add the break system packages flag if you are not using a virtual environment. To run this project, simply execute Python 341 main by. I have set up the system prompt related to the AI interviewer, but you can modify it by accessing this file. My system prompt is, you are the interviewer for a software engineering position. Also, you can adjust your VAD and utterance parameters per requirement. You will need a couple of environment variables, such as room ID and auth token for video stick meetings, plus a language supported by the DeepGram STT component. A couple of API keys are also required, specifically the DeepGram API key, Eleven Labs API key, and the LLM API key. You can also utilize your own custom LLM. Let's quickly see how to obtain these API keys and tokens from app.video.live. Here you can view your API keys. You can generate a new token here, valid for seven days. Here is my token. For the OpenAI key, visit platform.com slash API keys. From there, you can generate your authentication token or API key for OpenAI. To obtain the DeepGram API key, go to consult.deepgram.com where you will find the API key section. From there, you can generate your DeepGram API key. Lastly, generate your Elon Labs API key by signing up on elonlabs.io and accessing the API keys in your account. VideoStick is a real-time agent. I have already created a few API keys for my use case. You can also generate API keys through these applications. I have already set up my environment variables, and let's examine the directory structure here. Let's delve into the main.py file. I'm fetching the necessary environment variables, which you can find in the .n file. In the main function, I have created an asyncio loop and called this run method. Within the run method, 
I've instantiated the AI interviewer class object. First, I create a custom audio track for the agent using the TTS client from Elion Labs and the Intelligence client. This means that I'm setting up a couple of clients required for our AI voice agent. Finally, we join the meeting using the provided meeting ID and auth token from the environment variable. Let's check the AI interviewer class quickly. Within the AI interviewer, I've configured the meeting ID and authentication token in the join method. First, I've added the meeting configuration by providing the meeting ID, agent name, and options for enabling the mic, webcam, and custom audio track token. Then, I join the meeting and set up a couple of event listeners for various actions, such as participant join leave events. I also listen to the participant stream enable and disable events, which signal when a participant stream is available or not. Regarding stream enable disable, when a participant stream is available, I send this audio stream to DeepGram. In the start method of DeepGram, I will listen to all available events. Here, I set several options for DeepGram, including the model I want to use, participant language, whether the transcription should be smart format, encoding type, channel count, and input stream sample rate. Lastly, I create an Asyncio task that continuously consumes the participant stream. Within the addBS stream method, I consume the participant's track, convert it to PCM encoding, and send it to the DeepGram WebSocket for text recognition. The endpoint indicates whether it's the agent's or user's turn to speak. Whenever there is an available endpoint, I send that text to our LLM client by calling the method intelligence.generate. This means, right now we have the text and we need to send the query to the LLM client. When sending it to the LLM client, I will create a message history for context and then call the open API to generate a response. After generating a response, I send it to our TTS client from Elion Labs. Inside Elion Labs, I will pass the generated LLM response as a query parameter. From this, we will receive TTS bytes in bytes format. Upon receiving TTS bytes, we provide this to our custom audio track. This is simply done using output track .add new bytes. The output track is our media stream tag utilized in WebRTC. Regarding the custom audio track, we have created one which handles input audio efficiently. In essence, when a frame comes from Elion Labs, we send that frame to the meeting. If no frame is available from Elion Labs, we create a silence frame and send it to the meeting to prevent any media stream errors. Now, for encoding and decoding the frames, here is how we build an audio frame. We get chunks in byte format and create a NumPy array transforming that into an audio frame. The audio frame corresponds to the AV module's audio frame found in the PyPy documentation as well. Here is the PyAV documentation on audio frames you can refer to on how to create it using NumPy. Yes, you can create audio frames using the available NumPy documentation. I have created the audio frame using a NumPy array and return this frame to the meeting audio frame. This is then added to the frame buffer, which queues the audio frames we create in real time. Inside the queue, we retrieve and play the frame whenever it becomes available. This outlines the simple architecture we follow to create a voice AI agent. You can adjust your system prompt over here if necessary. I use the prompt, you are the interviewer interviewing a candidate for a software engineering position. Feel free to modify this system prompt whenever you construct any AI voice agent you desire. Here, I created a context variable useful for any React pipelines that may be needed. 
we will use this context variable as required in any mechanism. That concludes the coding structure overview. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I will respond to your queries there. Now, let's run our demo so we can see how this works in Python. I'm using the 3.41 version of Python for this. As we run this project, you'll see our interviewer joins the meeting. Let's engage with the interviewer now. Hey, hi, how are you doing? Hello, my kid, I'm doing well, thank you. How about you? Are you ready to dive into the interview? Yes, I'm ready. So that's it for this video.